Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm just going to do a quick video demonstrating um, some of the, uh, an add-on that I've put onto XBMC on the Amazon Fire. Um, if you've been following me on Twitter, you can see that we've been talking about the PSP um, peer-to-peer -peer streaming on XBMC. Um, I just want to show you what it kind of does on my Amazon Fire. Um, first of all, if you're running the Amazon Fire, you need to make sure you have the iStreams APK installed and also for it to be running before you actually enter into XBMC. So in my um, applications, uh, let's find the file. Oh, there it is. So make sure you launch the application. At the bottom it will say start, succeed. So you can come out of there. And we'll head down to XBMC. We'll launch the application. And we'll go over to videos, video add-ons, and then the P2P streams. Uh, this add-on, if you're uh, on XBMC, can be added via the Fusion repository. Uh, it's basically just called the P2P streams. Install that repository and then go to the videos and install P2P streams. So once you click on it, you'll get a screen like this. Uh, you can add favourites, uh, favourite channels to your favourite list, which I haven't currently done at the moment, so I'm still kind of uh, new to this add-on. So to view the uh, streams, um, go to the top where it says the website says, and then we've got an option now where we want to go and view some of the streams. Um, I've been kind of looking at the sports ones at the moment, just due to the World Cup being on and stuff like that. Um, so if we click on the bot uh, second one down, and here you'll have a choice of um, streams or channels to view. So let's click on BT Sports 1. It will now find seeds. So you just saw there's two seeds to where the stream is coming from. So it's a pretty good stream. And obviously on my screen, the uh, size on the picture isn't um, too great at the moment. I don't know what the problem is on the Amazon Fire, but it's easy to rectify. Uh, if you go just go by 16 by 9. And as you can see, it's running quite sweet there, so program about what's in the to learn. So we'll stop that there. It takes a couple of seconds once you press the stop button to stop the actual seeds from streaming to your box. So don't worry when you press stop, it may take six, seven, you know, even up to ten seconds. It's just basically stopping the seeds streaming to your box. So let's check out another um, channel maybe. Uh, let's go to your sports two. Click on that. See how many seeds it brings up? It brings up seven, nine, so it's going to be really good. Again, we just go across to here and we'll change the screen size. Pretty simple. As you can see, guys, it's a pretty cool um, stream and uh, no buffering. Um, so the audio is good as well. So, again, we'll stop that one. And what I would say to a lot of people is that I know everyone wants to watch HC streams and stuff like that, but if you haven't got you know a good speed going through your broadband, I would I would stay away from them. Um, you know, there's a sports HD one here which we'll click on. Uh, my speed is okay-ish, um, but it needs obviously a bigger bandwidth. That you are. And so and this one doesn't need to adjust it. And you see HD, not a problem. And like I mentioned before, it's just not sports channels. Uh, there's loads of Sky Sports and stuff like that. There's also uh, like movie channels and um, BBC, you know, in the UK and and various channels like that. Um, which I'll show you guys in a second. Sky Sports. Younger, more experienced players are needed. Oxford is a perfect example. We need more players. And as you can see that, it's running okay. What do you think generally so about we'll stop the, the different way that the fans think and, and, and what is right and what is wrong? So let's go and find some other channels apart from the sports. So if we go back to this screen here, you have a, an option below here called OneTorrent.tv. This is where you can find loads of channels um, that you can stream. And the ones below that, as you can see, are basically what you normally find on the add-on called Sports Devil. But this one, uh, this particular P2P streams, is, as you can see, is much more um, quality um, and um, you can view a lot more with the seeds on the torrents. I don't think currently there's any football on at the moment, 
Um, but as you can see, all the uh, games are here. You've got the um, games or the World Cups on here as well, and so forth and so forth. So anyway, that's kind of like all the, you know from literally here downwards is basically all your sports, as you can see. So let's go into onetorrent.tv. And before we go any further, I just like to mention that there's quite a few of these um, channels are in Russian. Um, this is a Russian-based add-on, and I do not know if there's going to be any sort of um, subtitle coming in for UK or you know uh, some translation in the, in the actual um, TV um, programs. Um, but there are a few uh, good ones in here as well, really. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of Russian. Uh, you've got the news, so let's skip on the news. Here you'll find the uh, seeds, so it's going up one to two. And again, we need to adjust this to 16 by 9. So finish your screen. So as you can see, it's not buffering. Um, the audio is great, the pitch is great. So we'll stop that. And we'll keep going down. You've got an entertainment package, again, a lot in Russian. If there is someone out there that would, would like to convert these uh, above into English, that would be great. Um, let's go to Baby Cartoon Network. So there's five seeds for this channel. <coughs> but like I mentioned before, it is in um, Russian. Some of the actual uh, channels. So we'll stop that. Not all of them are in Russian, uh, like you saw in the, in the Eurosport uh, and the Sky Sports said they obviously are in English, but you get some of these channels within this um, package here that are Russian only. Um, let's go to, let's find a movie channel. Let's just pick on one. Oh, let's go to uh, Sony Sci-Fi. Click on that one. Again, it will find the seeds. So we've got five. And again, we'll just change that to Nothing. Nothing. And you can see it's working fine. Um, I'm not too sure if you use this um, add-on for these sort of movies and news streams. Um, I, I purely will use it just for basically the sports, but you also have the music package on here. So there is sports again. Again, a lot of these sports channels come um, the Premiership uh, new season will have 3 p.m. kickoffs. I've done a little bit of research on some of the Russian channels, and uh, uh, quite a few of them do actually um, stream the actual uh, 3 p.m.s and non-televised ones in the UK. Um, also, I'll show you, it's also got Satanta Sports, which again is an Irish um, sports add-on, which is in the actual sports package before this. They also show 3pm kickoffs. So anyway, yeah, you've got also have a discovery sort of package. Again, stay away from the HD if you can bear with it, really. So it's 11 seeds, 14 seeds for this stream. And again, we'll just go And... Open up to 16 by 9. And again, it's a little bit of a Then we'll stop that. Then we'll keep going down Discovery and so forth. Yeah, so you kind of like get the gist of it. There's quite a lot on here. Um, you know, music, the slip on the music. Um, it's currently still, still in beta stage. Um, this add on was actually made um, in January and it's currently still in beta stage. So, whatever we're viewing now. It's still being tested on. So, um, I call it in a few, uh, a few weeks to a couple of months, we'll see the final release of P2P streams. So, it's also true, Sean, you've got your men's package as well, and your regional, but again, that's obviously going to be in Russia. Uh, you've got HD channels, again, if you've got a great bandwidth, go for it. Um, and so forth. So we go back to the beginning. And again, below here are um, the sports um, in the Sopcast uh, Arena Vision World Cup. This is purely based on the World Cup, all the matches on here. And you can all sort in HD or in normal, which is great. Um, again, this is just purely another sort of add on, but 
on here are basically streams. So because an AB1, they may not be a stream ready on there at the moment. But if you go to the agenda, it will give you basically what's on and where. So uh, Formula One's going to be on AB1, 2, 3, and 4 from 1 p.m. Um, and you're going to have Wimbledon on there tomorrow. And it's got kind of like a bit of schedule going on for the next few days. Um, I haven't really looked into this much or used it much. Um, so you kind of get the idea here. So when you know what one you want to watch, just click on it and it will start. Obviously the F1 doesn't start till 1 p.m. and it's still early in the morning here. Uh, Wizzy Week, everyone should know about. It plays on the football streams on 3 p.m. Uh, again, there's no football on at the moment, so I'll probably show you that. But you kind of then get the idea of that. And it's all basically in this uh, add-on called P2P Streams. So guys, if you really uh, want to give this a go, again, you can add it via the Fusion. Uh, if you're running on an Apple device, I don't know how to get around the A Streams um, add-on for you to actually view it, but I'm running it on my Fire. Uh, I had to add the, uh, the A Streams APK, uh, like you saw, and I had to launch it before I went to XBMC so I can get these streams going. If you don't do that on the Fire, then you won't get the streams coming through 